in general, people typically learn more from setbacks or defeats than you do from your successes. So there's certainly a lot to learn from this, but I'm confident in the guys that we have in that locker room that they'll come ready to work, you know, try to straighten this thing out. It's a long season, like I said, 16 more games. Uh, this is one loss. It's all about how you respond from it uh, and how you respond from adversity. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Packers Daily. Green Bay's next foe, the new look Detroit Lions, who moved the chains in NFL best 31 times on Sunday. That's the most first downs in a game for a Lions team in nine years. Detroit's backfield features a two-headed monster, starting with sophomore slasher DeAndre Swift. The 5'9 runner can knife into the second level on the ground or decimate defenses through the air, carving past DBs all the way to the house. Then there's a man who needs no introduction. Former Packers running back Jamal Williams, number 30 averaged six yards per carry in his Lions debut, racking up 110 scrimmage yards and his first ever touchdown in Detroit. But Green Bay has its own two-punch tandem at running back. In second year bruiser A.J. Dillon and fifth year phenom Aaron Jones. The Pro Bowlers averaging 112 rushing yards in his last three duels with Detroit. And Monday's matchup will mark the one year anniversary of Jones' one man show at Lambeau Field, a prolific performance against the Lions, featuring a career high 236 total yards and three sensational scores, paving the way for an encore on the primetime stage. No one will catch him to the end zone. Touchdown, Aaron!